Welcome to Graphitorials. In today's video, I will show you how to master graphic design with Photoshop like a pro. So, if you are a beginner, don't skip this video. Make sure you watch it to the end so that you understand everything I'm going to say in this video and everything I'm going to do in this video. Okay? So, this, this, this video will help you upgrade from beginner to pro. Okay? So don't skip any parts. So this is the flyer we are going to work on today. So without wasting most of our time, let's get started. So let's close this. We'll start with a blank Photoshop. So this is how your Photoshop will be once you open it. So I'm using Photoshop 6 2019. So you can use any version of Photoshop you like or will work well, okay? So let's begin. So the first thing we do is to create a new workspace. So click on create. So let's name this Mastering Photoshop. Okay, so hit create. So our background has been created. Our, work, our workspace has been created. So first thing we do is to um, bring in our background. Okay, so Let's begin. Go to file, place embedded. I will embed link in the description below so that you'll be able to download every resources I use for this project. Okay, I will give you access to these um, resources. Also, I will give you access to the file, the raw file of this project. Okay, so that you can download it, look at it, and see what I did in it if you do not understand. And also, you can ask me question in the comment section. I will. Be happy to attend to your question okay so let's continue so our, our background has been imported so let's grab this um rectangle marquee to mark this area okay so let's mark this area mark this area i click copy via layer make sure you rasterize this rasterize it before you begin doing it like this so as this place um, is in new layer now so let's shift it down because i copied it to a new layer okay so go to file blur motion blur so my blur is in 901 okay you can do your own like that also so press hit okay grab your brush too so so this is my brush size. Use the bracket button on your keyboard to reduce the size and increase it. Okay. So add a layer mask to this. This is a layer mask. Add it to it. Make sure this foreground is, is in black. Okay. You can switch it from here. Or you can set it from here. Make sure this upside is in black. Why this place is in white? Then let's blend this area in. Okay. Then double control T. For free transform, hold shift, drag this up. Okay. Press enter. So hold control shift alt. Then press A while holding down the three keys. Go to file camera raw. So increase the clarity. Increase the clarity well. That's it. So go to this color mixing, increase this to, so my own is in 33. If you do not see this color mixing down here, you can see, you, you will see it somewhere here, depending on the version of Photoshop you are using, okay? So press OK. So guys, um, if today is your first time coming to my channel, kindly go to my channel and subscribe then turn on the notification bell so you get notified anytime i drop new video if you're already on the channel like comment and share this video okay to support what i'm doing if you enjoy what i'm doing okay so i hope you have done that let's continue so the next thing we'll do is to begin working on our tests so let's begin typing in our tests so first let's 
grab your rect rectangle tool, drop it somewhere here, change the color to yellow, this yellow. So the color code is FFE400. Okay, that's the color code to so get as exact this color. Okay. So close it. Press Ctrl T for free transform. Then click on skew. Drag this area down. Take it up. Press enter. Okay. Go to file, place embedded. Let's bring in the church logo. Reduce the size, drag it and keep it somewhere here. Reduce it a little. This is okay. Control S to save. Okay, so always save your work so that you will lose your work if you're interrupted by anything. Okay, so let's begin typing in our tests. So let's type in the name of the church, the church. T for free transform, increase the size, press enter, keep it somewhere here, change the color to white, so bring it down a little, keep it somewhere here, so select this background, okay, then go to adjustment layer, go to gradient, so select this gradient, see the gradient I'm using. If you if you want to get this uh, this um this this color is in default, it's, it's always in Photoshop. Okay, so let's change this to this. So go to this, double click on this. So change the color to, to this. Okay. Then change this one to Double click on it, change it to a lighter yellow, a little, a little lighter yellow. Okay, so did you see it? Then change the color to multiply. Okay, so reduce the opacity a little. So my own is in, let's say, 50. Reduce it to 50. Press OK. So my own is in 50. Okay. So bring this in a little. Then let's continue typing in our test. Let's type present. Present. Okay, Ctrl T for full transform. So the name of the font I'm using is um, this Nexa. Okay, Monster Art. Okay, so that's my, one of my favorite fonts I use for many of my projects. So, align this to the center. Take this up. Control T for full transform. Increase this. Hit Enter. So, Control S to save. So let's type in. Character. So group this so that you know this is the header side. Control G, double click on it, write its header. Okay. So group this. Control G, write its logo. So group it so that your work will be well organized. So hold Shift, hold, select this, or you can use Control and select all of them. Control G, name it background. Okay, control S to save. So always organize, always group your so that it will be organized and also it will be easy for you to identify each group by its name. Okay. So grab your test two. Right trip. Control T for free transform. Increase the size. Then this. Control T. Increase the size. Ctrl T, increase it a little. 
punctured je of okay for control t reduce the size a little bit increase it a little make it join with this okay so the tray control t reduce it reduce the tray a little Enter. So, so group this control G to group it. Keep it somewhere here. Control T for free transform. Increase the size. Keep it somewhere here. So let's type in the next tests. Oh yeah. Control T, enter fasting. Control T, increase the size. Keep it somewhere here. Then select this. Control T. So you'll be wondering how I was selecting this. So if you want to select anything on your workspace, hold Ctrl and click on it. Then it will be select selected. Hold Ctrl, click on it. You can also enable auto auto select from here, from this place, up here. Okay, so that it it is it will be selecting the layers automatically. But I do turn it off. Hold Ctrl and select. So that's how that's how I was doing it. Okay, so Ctrl T, Enter, and so let's type in the next tests and Ctrl T, increase it, Enter. So hold shift, select the tray, control G, then to group it, then take it up somewhere here. Write this one tray so that you, you know see it's tray. Three days. Okay, control T. Reduce it. Reduce it more. This so we are here. So fasting, write this one fasting. Then control T, increase it, increase it more so that it will be bigger. Okay. Press enter. Increase this to a little, a little. Control T. Enter. Adjust it. Enter. So, right click on this rectangle area. Select this ellipse too. Okay. So, hold shift and drag it like this. Close this. Add a stroke to it. Go over to this place, increase the stroke. So this is it. Then right click on this 
an ellipse to rasterize it then grab this rectangle marker to draw it cover this area and delete it okay control d to the select okay you see what i just did now control s to save then so let's add a little effect to this first okay so go to file place embedded so i'll be i'll be clipping a background inside the tests okay so this will be the background you also see you have to download this background okay so expand it right click on the layer create a clipping mask make sure the image is on top of the test you want to place it inside it okay make sure it's on top of it so that it will work Control t expand this hold shift and expand it so that the light area will show very well okay let's say let's let's do this on the group itself so that all these tests we have the same um, background on in it okay so i right click on it create a clipping mask on the background do, do you see it now Control t expand this press enter so hold Control, select the two and group them so i just grouped the um, background i placed inside the test and the test itself so So this is it so let's begin working on other stuffs on the design okay so move this ellipse to inside this tray three group then select these two and increase them okay so this first group increase it more so that to be big bigger okay so this size is okay perfect so let's name it again fasting control s to save so let's type in other tests so grab your test to sorry drag drag it draw and drag it like this so that a dummy test will appear this is called a dummy test so we use it to make up the design so that it's not a real test it's just a dummy test okay so let's cut it May this one come to the next This should come down. Okay, this is okay. Control T. to save so let's type in the date somewhere here 17th so 19th control t increase it flip it to left okay open this test panel shift this up so keep the test somewhere here Control j to duplicate it keep it somewhere here then change the test 6 am twelve pm 
Okay. So this is good. Punch my ass to save. So let's start bringing in the pit chucks. Okay. So this is let's make this come to the middle. This is place okay. So let's let's bring in the pit chucks. Okay. Control S to save. Let's start bringing in the pictures. So let's bring in the pictures. So go to this area place, select this ellipse ellipse to hold shift and drag it. So this will be we have a picture here. We'll place the picture inside it. Okay. So take it up. Go to file place embedded. We'll place that background inside this circle. So reduce the size. Take it here. Create a clipping mask. I click on it. Create a clipping mask. Then select the select the select the circle itself. Control J. Then take this up. Control T. Hold Shift and Alt. Then reduce the size. Press Enter. So hold these two and convert it to smart objects. Convert to smart objects. Okay. Then hold control and group it okay control j to duplicate this control j to duplicate it again while moving it hold shift while moving it so that it will be on a straight line with others okay control j to duplicate it then move it this is it so hold control click on this so that it open the folder Go to file place embedded. So let's bring in the pictures. The link to download the pictures is also in the description below. You, you, you will see a link through the link. You will see a test file containing all this link, all, all link to download every resources I use for this project. Okay. So I click on this, create a clipping mask. So this, this one is okay. Shift it. This is cool. Hold Control, click on this two. Go to File, Place Embedded. Bring this into. Create a clipping mask. So this one is good. This one is good. So hold control, click on this to open it. Go to place embedded. This one, place it in. Reduce the size. I click on it, create a clean mask. Keep it somewhere here. Control T. Reduce it a little. Press enter. So hold control, click on these two, go to file, place embedded. So let me bring this in. Reduce it. Right click on it, create a clipping mask. Control T. Right click on it, flip horizontal press enter okay so you can just grab your test tool drag and drop so that a two test will appear like this to align it to the center then 
duplicate it to all the images okay so we are using this as their name names okay so go shift to select the four and align it to align it to top so all of them will be in a straight line okay control s to save so go to file place in bender let's bring in the location icon so that we we'll summarize this design okay reduce this center double click on it color overlay to change the color to white make sure everything this everything is in the default like mine okay so leave it like this grab the test tool drag it a little so that a line will appear a line of test will appear make the made it made the um made this made this test line to be small like this so that it will contain only a test line okay so delete one Control t increase this press enter Control g to group the to group it so this is it let's summarize this design Control s to save so let's summarize this design hold control shift alt then press e while holding down the trick is go to file camera roll increase the clarity so that's all once you click the clarity that's all control s to save so this is it so this is this will be the end of today's tutorial so if you do not understand anything in the in this video you can ask me any question in the comment section i will be happy to attend to your question if you have not subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell also share and like this video thank you guys for watching see you guys next time bye